History hides some shocking stories, often too dark or strange for school lessons. Today, we're uncovering in schools. It's forbidden to talk about this. Top 20 Terrible Historical Facts. These are the real, raw bits of our past that you probably never heard in a classroom. So let's step into the shadows of history together and uncover what's been kept from us, revealing the true tales that have been whispered about but rarely spoken aloud. Number one, Hiroshima and Nagasaki shadows. In the haunting aftermath of the atomic bombings on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, an eerie phenomenon emerged, nuclear shadows. As the bombs detonated with unprecedented force, the intense heat and light incinerated everything in their immediate vicinity. However, in areas where objects or individuals momentarily shielded surfaces, their outlines were etched into the ground and walls, creating ghostly imprints. These nuclear shadows became a stark, visual representation of the lives abruptly extinguished, capturing a final, fleeting moment of existence. The discovery of these shadows not only provided a poignant reminder of the individuals and objects that once were, but they also symbolized the profound and enduring trauma inflicted on survivors. The psychological impact of these bombings went far beyond the initial destruction, as generations bore the burden of physical ailments, emotional scars, and a deeply ingrained fear of nuclear warfare. The legacy of Hiroshima and Nagasaki extends beyond the physical devastation, serving as a somber reminder of the destructive capability of humankind and the lasting shadows cast by decisions made in times of war. This horrifying chapter in history compels us to reflect on the consequences of our actions and the invaluable importance of pursuing peace. Number 2. Siege of Leningrad During the 872-day Siege of Leningrad in World War II, the city, now known as St. Petersburg, faced a horrifying ordeal. Surrounded by Axis forces, residents were cut off from vital supplies, leading to a famine of unprecedented scale. As the siege wore on, food stocks dwindled to nearly nothing, forcing people to survive on meager rations like bread made from sawdust. The cold winters and lack of heating fuel added to their misery, leading to thousands freezing to death. As desperation peaked, some residents resorted to the unthinkable. Cannibalism became a tragic yet necessary means for some to survive the relentless hunger. The siege didn't just decimate the population. It scarred the survivors and the city's psyche, leaving a haunting legacy of human resilience and desperation in the face of one of the most brutal military blockades in history. Number 3. Bengal Famine of 1943 In 1943, the Bengal Famine struck, becoming one of the darkest chapters in British-ruled India. Rooted in a catastrophic convergence of war, policy failures, and natural disaster, this famine wasn't merely a tragic event. It was a man-made disaster amplified by colonial decisions. As World War II raged, British authorities continued to export food from India for the war effort, disregarding the escalating crisis. Simultaneously, a cyclone devastated crops and fungal diseases ravaged rice paddies, yet the response was grossly inadequate. The British policy of prioritizing military needs over local welfare, coupled with wartime inflation, left millions unable to afford food. The toll was staggering. Estimates suggest up to three million perished from starvation, malnutrition, and related diseases. This horrific event was not just about the scarcity of food, it was about the lethal negligence and exploitative policies of an imperial power marking a somber moment in history where governance failed humanity profoundly. Number 4. Partition of India and Pakistan, 1947 In 1947, the partition of India and Pakistan emerged as a seismic event in South Asian history. The British colonial exit led to a hurried division along religious lines, creating India and Pakistan. This division ignited unprecedented chaos and violence as millions of Hindus, Muslims, and Sikhs scrambled to cross borders. The human cost was staggering. 
up to 2 million lives lost and around 14 million people displaced, marking it as one of the largest mass migrations in human history. Communities that had coexisted for centuries were torn apart, leaving deep scars and enduring tensions between the two nations. The legacy of partition is more than just geographical. It's woven into the fabric of cultural and political identities, influencing the region's dynamics to this day. This dark chapter of history, often overlooked in textbooks, highlights the profound impact of political decisions on human lives and the enduring complexities of cultural divides. Number 5. U.S. Government Poisoned Alcohol, 1926 In 1926, during the height of Prohibition, the U.S. government took a controversial step to enforce its ban on alcohol consumption. To deter illegal drinking, they ordered the poisoning of industrial alcohol, a common ingredient in bootlegged liquors. This drastic measure led to thousands of deaths and many more suffering from serious health issues. The government's rationale was to scare people into abstinence, but the result was a public health and ethical disaster. Many citizens were outraged, seeing the act as a gross violation of rights and a dangerous overstep of governmental power. Critics argued it demonstrated a lack of respect for individual autonomy and raised serious questions about the lengths to which the government would go to enforce its laws. This shocking revelation left a lasting impression on the American psyche, highlighting the extreme measures of prohibition and the tragic consequences of overzealous policy enforcement. Number 6. Over 600 Plots Against Fidel Castro Fidel Castro, the emblematic leader of Cuba, was not just a figure of controversy, but also of incredible survival. Astoundingly, over 600 assassination attempts were orchestrated against him throughout his rule, a testament to the profound impact of his revolutionary ideology and governance on the global stage. These plots weren't mere rumors. They involved a range of tactics from explosive cigars to poison-filled syringes, orchestrated by various entities including the CIA, Cuban exiles, and even the Mafia. The sheer number and variety of these attempts underscore the lengths to which agencies and individuals were willing to go to remove Castro from power. This relentless pursuit was a reflection of the Cold War's intense political climate, where ideological battles often translated into personal vendettas. Castro's ability to evade these numerous attempts on his life not only cements his place as a symbol of resilience, but also highlights the dramatic and often dangerous undercurrents of 20th century geopolitics. Number 7. Pope Gregory Niven's Cat Crusade In the 13th century, Pope Gregory IX launched an infamous campaign against cats, specifically black ones, branding them as incarnations of the devil. This crusade, fueled by deep-rooted superstitions, led to widespread massacres of cats across Europe. Ironically, this mass extermination of felines had a dire, unintended consequence. It significantly reduced the population of natural predators of rats, the very creatures that carried fleas responsible for the bubonic plague. As the rat population surged, so did the spread of this deadly disease, culminating in the devastating Black Death which wiped out a third of Europe's population. This historical episode serves as a chilling reminder of how fear-driven decisions, especially those backed by influential figures, can lead to catastrophic outcomes. It also reflects the complex relationship humanity has with animals, often oscillating between reverence and unwarranted fear, and how superstitions can shape and sometimes distort our actions and their consequences. Number 8. Genghis Khan's Impact Genghis Khan, a name that echoes through history, not just for the vast empire he forged, but for the brutal tactics employed in his conquests. His rise to power was marked by relentless warfare, innovative military strategies, and a mercilessness that left cities razed and populations decimated. The human toll of Khan's campaigns is staggering, with estimates suggesting his wars caused over 40 million deaths. This figure not only reflects the immediate fatalities from battles, 
but also the famine and disease that followed in the wake of his armies. But Khan's impact extended beyond human suffering. His conquests resulted in widespread environmental changes. Large areas of cultivated land returned to forest, significantly reducing carbon in the atmosphere. While some reassess his role, viewing him as a unifier and lawgiver, the sheer scale of death and destruction he wrought leaves an indelible mark on history, making us ponder the complex legacy of one of the world's most formidable conquerors. Number 9. James S. Jameson's Atrocity In a chilling chapter of colonial history, the heir to the Jameson whiskey fortune, James S. Jameson, found himself embroiled in a horrifying incident during his travels in the Congo. Reports suggest that Jameson expressed a morbid curiosity about cannibalism, leading him to allegedly pay a group of locals to witness the act. The account, which emerged from his own journal and testimonies of those present, describes how he sketched the gruesome scene as a young girl was offered to cannibals. This incident starkly illustrates the dehumanizing attitudes and moral bankruptcy that often accompanied colonial expeditions. It serves as a disturbing reminder of the dark facets of human nature, especially when distorted by power and racial superiority. Jameson's actions, whether driven by perverse interest or colonial arrogance, underscore the exploitative and ethically reprehensible behavior that was disturbingly common in such expeditions. This dark episode forces us to confront the brutal realities of colonialism and its enduring, haunting legacy. Number 10. Martin County and Baby Incubators In the early 20th century, Martin County adopted a peculiar method to champion the cause of premature infants, a demographic often neglected by mainstream medicine. County showcased incubators with live infants at expositions and amusement parks, a spectacle that drew public attention and scrutiny. This unconventional approach, while seemingly outlandish, provided life-saving care for infants who otherwise might not have had a chance at survival. County's exhibits operated outside the bounds of traditional hospitals, offering free treatment funded by the curiosity of spectators. Despite the lack of formal medical training, his dedication contributed significantly to the acceptance and advancement of neonatal care. Cooney's legacy is a complex tapestry of entertainment and medicine, illustrating how innovation can emerge from the most unexpected places, challenging societal norms, and reshaping the future of medical care for the most vulnerable. His story embodies a profound narrative of hope, perseverance, and unconventional wisdom. Number 11. European Witch Trials, 15th and 18th the century. Between the 15th and 18th centuries, Europe was ensnared in a fever of paranoia and superstition known as the Witch Trials. These trials were a harrowing manifestation of societal fears, rooted in religious extremism and a misunderstanding of natural phenomena. Women, particularly those who were elderly or marginalized, bore the brunt of these accusations. They were often scapegoated for unexplained misfortunes such as crop failures, illnesses, or financial woes, reflecting deep-seated gender biases and a lack of societal power. An estimated 40,000 to 60,000 people were executed, revealing the grim reality of mass hysteria and mob mentality. The witch hunts left an indelible scar on European history highlighting the dangerous intersection of fear, ignorance, and institutional authority. This dark chapter serves as a stark reminder of the importance of critical thinking and the protection of human rights against unfounded mass hysteria. Number 12. Great MU War, 1932. In 1932, Australia found itself embroiled in what is now known as the Great Emu War, a military operation that highlights the sometimes absurd nature of human wildlife conflicts. This unusual episode began when large flocks of emus searching for water and food began devastating crops in Western Australia. Farmers struggling during the Great Depression desperately sought help, leading the military to intervene with soldiers armed with machine guns. Yet, despite their efforts and technological superiority, 
the soldiers found the emus remarkably elusive and hard to combat. The birds' astonishing speed and unpredictable movements made them difficult targets, turning the operation into a farcical display of military might versus avian agility. The campaign ended with few EMUs killed and no significant impact on their population, leaving the military embarrassed and the public amused. This peculiar conflict serves as a testament to the unpredictability of nature and the complexities of managing human-wildlife interactions. Number 13. Thomas Edison's Failed Dolls Thomas Edison, you probably think of the light bulb and electricity. Thomas Edison, renowned for his groundbreaking inventions, also ventured into the world of children's toys with his phonographic dolls. These dolls, a fusion of toy and technology, contained tiny phonographs inside and were meant to enchant children with their ability to speak. However, they were met with a less than magical reception. The reasons for their commercial failure were multifaceted. The dolls' voices were eerie and unsettling, far from the gentle and cheerful tones expected of a child's plaything. Additionally, they were incredibly fragile and expensive, making them an impractical choice for most families. Public reaction was predominantly negative, with many finding the dolls more disturbing than delightful. This venture, though a failure, underscored the challenges of early technological innovations in cons. Umer Products It also highlighted the importance of understanding the consumer market and the sometimes unpredictable nature of public taste, providing valuable lessons for future inventors and entrepreneurs in the field. Number 14. Minnie Dean's Crimes In the late 19th century, New Zealand was shaken by the chilling crimes of Minnie Dean, the only woman to be executed in the country's history. Her story is a grim reminder of the vulnerabilities within early childcare systems. Minnie Dean was known for taking in infants and young children, providing a service to mothers who, due to societal pressures and personal circumstances, could not care for their offspring. However, beneath this facade of care, a sinister reality lurked. Several children in Dean's care mysteriously disappeared or were found dead under suspicious circumstances. The trial that followed captured the nation's attention, exposing a horrifying pattern of neglect and possible murder. Dean's case not only highlighted the desperate need for regulated childcare, but also served as a cautionary tale about the dangers of entrusting children to unverified caregivers. Her story remains a dark chapter in New Zealand's history, reflecting the era's societal challenges and the dire consequences of a deficient childcare system. Number 15. Books Bound in Human Skin Books made out of human skin! It was discovered that three books in Harvard's libraries The practice of anthropodermic bibliopagy, binding books in human skin, is a grim chapter in the history of bookbinding. Originating as early as the 17th century, this macabre art was often reserved for anatomical texts, with skin sourced from deceased patients or executed criminals. The practice aimed to preserve the human form in a manner both symbolic and literal, creating a tangible connection between the book's content and its cover. Ethical debates have long surrounded anthropodermic bibliopagy, stirring a mix of horror and fascination. Critics argue it dehumanizes the individual, reducing a person's life to a mere object, while some historians view it as a valuable insight into past medical and cultural practices. Today, these books are rare, unsettling artifacts held in private and institutional collections. They serve as stark reminders of our continual ethical evolution and the sometimes dark intersections of humanity, science, and art. Number 16. Dentures from the Dead In the 19th century, a grisly yet fascinating practice emerged in dental prosthetics. Waterloo teeth. Following the Battle of Waterloo, as well as other conflicts, the teeth of fallen soldiers were routinely harvested to create dentures for the living. This macabre resource was not just a testament to the scarcities of the time, but also highlighted the social disparities. Only the affluent could afford such luxuries, leading to a grim irony 
where the mouths of the rich were often filled with the teeth of the poor and deceased soldiers. As unsettling as it is, this practice significantly influenced the evolution of dental prosthetics. It spurred advancements and moral debates that eventually led to the creation of more ethical and hygienic alternatives. Today, while the notion of wearing another's teeth is rightfully horrifying, it's a stark reminder of our relentless pursuit of medical advancement and the often uncomfortable path it takes. Number 17. Pharaoh Pepi II's Insect Hatred Pharaoh Pepi II, one of Egypt's longest reigning monarchs, had an intense aversion to insects, particularly flies. His peculiar solution was to order slaves to be smeared with honey, attracting the flies away from him. This bizarre decree reflects the absolute power pharaohs held, where even their personal discomforts led to harsh realities for others. The impact on slaves was severe, as they became living fly traps, enduring the discomfort and potential health risks associated with being covered in sticky honey and swarms of insects. This practice also underscores the vast social divide in ancient Egyptian society, where the whims of the ruling class directly affected the lives of the less fortunate. Pepi II's extreme measures to avoid insects highlight the eccentricities some rulers exhibited, reflecting their detachment from the populace. This story isn't just about a ruler's odd habit. It's a stark reminder of the disparities and injustices that have pervaded societies throughout history. Number 18. Adolf Hitler and Disney In one of history's most unsettling ironies, Adolf Hitler, the infamous dictator responsible for some of the gravest atrocities of the 20th century, had a peculiar affinity for the whimsical world of Disney movies. This stark contrast between his brutal regime and his fondness for films like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs reveals a disturbing juxtaposition of innocence and evil. Hitler, who orchestrated the Holocaust and plunged the world into war, privately indulged in the innocence and escapism offered by Disney's animations, a stark contradiction to his public persona of fear and hatred. This fascination underscores a chilling dichotomy within human nature, where the capacity for profound love for art coexists with the potential for devastating cruelty. The revelation of Hitler's unexpected interest prompts a broader reflection on the complexities of human character, challenging our understanding of morality and the multifaceted aspects of even the most notorious individuals. Number 19. Mozart's Vulgar Side Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, celebrated for his symphonies and operas, had a provocative side starkly contrasting his public image. Beyond his refined compositions lay works filled with lewd humor and risque language, such as Lech Mischem Arsch, a canon in B-flat major. These pieces, often concealed in historical accounts, reveal a raw, unfiltered aspect of Mozart's personality. They humanize the iconic composer, highlighting the complexity of artistic genius and challenging the conventional perception of classical purity. Mozart's vulgar works remind us that creativity knows no bounds and that even the most revered figures have their quirks, offering a fuller, more nuanced understanding of historical artistic expression. Number 20. Statue of Liberty, Misconception. The Statue of Liberty, initially a symbol of Franco-American friendship, has undergone a remarkable transformation in its meaning. Gifted to celebrate American independence, it later became an emblem of hope to millions of immigrants, thanks to Emma Lazarus's poem, The New Colossus. This shift illustrates how symbols evolve with societal changes. What was once a diplomatic gesture now stands as a beacon of welcome and freedom, embodying America's identity as a melting pot. This evolution from a commemorative gift to a symbol of new beginnings reflects the dynamic nature of cultural symbols and their ability to adopt new meanings over time, leaving viewers in awe of their layered histories. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.